10th edition of the European Inventors Award, which is presented annually by the European Patent Office in cooperation with the European Commission, has been held in Paris. An international jury drawn from industry, science and the media selected 15 finalists from hundreds of applicants. The inventors who reached the final are gathered here behind me in this historic Parisian building, the Stock Exchange. The ceremony will begin shortly and then we will know the winners. The Lifetime Achievement Award went to the Swiss inventor Andreas Manz, who was honoured for the invention of the Microlab chip technology. Thanks to his work, it is now possible to conduct complex medical, biological or chemical analysis quickly and efficiently on microchips, no bigger than just a few millimetres in size. Lab on a chip technology promises to revolutionise in-field monitoring and diagnosis. Future uses might include inexpensive, fast testing in remote, impoverished areas which are difficult to access for endemic and pandemic diseases. Among other diseases research is already being carried out for diagnosis of HIV and malaria. Basically the advantage of lab on a chip is that in a small space everything goes faster. This is called scaling laws. Take for example an elephant and the way the elephant walks is like very slowly. A mouse, a tiny mouse, goes fast. And it's the same with our molecules. So basically on a small system, on a microchip, the analysis will be much faster. And the winner is Laura Van Fer. The invention of a gene-based tissue test which makes it possible to offer targeted treatment for breast cancer won the prize in the small medium enterprises category for Laura Van Ver from the Netherlands. The mammaprint determines a patient's risk of metastasis. The technology introduced in 2007 has already helped over 40,000 women with treatment for cancer and means that now 20 to 30 percent fewer women have to undergo lengthy chemotherapy. What is the advantage for women, for the patients of this diagnostic test? Women can forego chemotherapy if their risk of recurrence is low, which means they don't have to suffer all the side effects and be out of their daily life for up to a year. And women who need chemotherapy will be given that based on their personalized mama print test results. Bevine at Art, Franz Antman and Philippe Mogas. Congratulations. The pair won the award for their contribution to the development of near-field communication, a contact-free, secure technology for data transfer between mobile devices. The invention opens up an almost unlimited range of new possibilities for mobile devices, enabling smartphones, for example, to be used in future as virtual wallets, controls for smart homes and access to secure areas. Compared to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, what's the difference? If you have stored a metro ticket in your phone, you enter the Paris metro, but suddenly the battery of your phone is dead. With NFC you can still get out because the ticket can be retrieved by the infrastructure of the metro, which is definitely not possible with uh, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. It works also with passive devices, meaning having no battery, you simply touch it and immediately it pops up at the internet address, uh, which was stored on the tag. In other awards, Ludwig Leibler from France was honored in the category Research for the invention of a new class of recyclable plastics. Ian Fraser from Australia and the late Jian Zhu received a popular prize for their invention of the world's first vaccine against cervical cancer.